On the first day of Ramadan, India's Hindu extremist government announced rules to implement the Citizenship Amendment Act, a discriminatory law aimed at stripping Muslims of their citizenship in mass. Police have begun violently quelling protests against the law. Students, including women, were baton charged, and over 60 students were detained by the police. In Jharkhand state, a mob of Hindu extremist cow vigilantes harassed and assaulted a Muslim cattle trader. In Maharashtra state, a Muslim vegetable vendor was abducted by a group of Hindu extremists who accused him of love jihad for talking to a female Hindu customer. The mob brutally beat him and forced him to chant Jai Shri Ram. Civil officials in far-right BJP-ruled Gujarat demolished Muslim shrines across several villages in the state. The spree of demolitions comes days after a shrine in Junagadh was demolished overnight. An eight-year-old Muslim student was subjected to anti-Muslim bullying by his Hindu classmates at a school in BJP rule Gujarat's Baroda. His classmates also threatened to kill him if he reported the abuse. The school administration has taken no action against the students. <laughs> At a Hindu religious event in Jaipur, Rajasthan, far-right BJP lawmaker Balmukand Acharya called for taking over the historic Qutub Minar, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and turning it into a temple. In Mumbai, Maharashtra, Far-right BJP leader Nitesh Rane led an oath to boycott Muslim street vendors, promising impunity to Hindu extremists who commit violence against them. In Jalgao, social media influencer Harasha Thakur openly called for violence against Muslims. In Baruch, Gujarat, Muslim girls were forced to remove their hijab during their exams. In recent years, several Muslim students have been denied entry into schools and colleges for wearing the hijab. <laughs>